Reporting to y'all live at a local car wash, reunited with my baby Rouge. It's live from last week, episode 66. Let's go! Welcoming my fellow jaywalkers to another episode of Live from Last Week. Hope last week has served you well. Just a quick shameless plug before we go on. Want you guys to like and share this video and subscribe to the channel. To start things off, I want to recap to you guys just how busy today was. So this morning, after having a sleepover at the Saga residence, while waiting for the wife to wake up this morning, I decided to edit some Live from Last Week footage in the basement of episode 65. And while remembering these videos from episodes from a live from last week from a couple months ago, I decided to go to my Planet Fitness in Mississauga to see just how out of shape I am. So I did a quick 15 minute treadmill workout before realizing that I needed to go back to my basic workout that I usually do at Planet Fitness. I headed to the Planet Fitness black card members only area and you guessed it guys, I did a couple of sets of a couple of rounds on the new hydro massage beds. And after finishing with that, we traveled right across town to Scarborough to meet my mom and dad for lunch at a local place called Lee's Haka number one. And we ordered all these delicious dishes that you can see here while video messaging the sister up on Facebook. Hi Nika. Hi Nika, enjoy your lunch. Ta-da. Haka number one. <laughs> Then, early in the afternoon, we met up with my cousins, Faye and Justin, surprised them with my parents, and we all went to do our monthly visit to see Lola. Okay, if you guys can guess what's in this box. Yeah, you guys got... Mom, you have to come here. You guys have to guess what's in that box. Manjong. Close. Close. Really close. Show it to the camera. Majong, it's close. <laughs> what do you think, Tito? It's a Lola. Oh, oh. wow! <laughs> oh. Now you gotta say deal or no deal. <laughs> deal or no deal. And after spending about 45 minutes visiting Lola in the chilly March weather, I played Uber driver to my mom and dad in the Honda to drive ourselves over to my buddy Cam's place, where I went to hang out with him and spend time with his guinea pigs, Chew and Mocha. We also got the opportunity to drive around to check out the Glen Rouge campground area, as well recalling this scene from last week. I headed over to Scarborough to drop off some of my motorcycle parts to my mechanic, Cam Sue, and I'm hoping that within the next week, we'll have my motorcycle, Rouge, back on the road again. I went to pick up my motorcycle, Rouge, and after being seen by Cammy, took her out on her first ride of 2022. <laughs> Continuing on later this evening, the wife and I took a trip down memory lane of watching movies back when I was in high school by catching one of my all-time favorite movies, the first Spider-Man, featuring the original Spidey, Tobey Maguire. But yeah, before capping off my recap of this very busy day, we just have a couple of birthday shout-outs. With my first shout-out going out to one of my World Youth Day friends back in 2011. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Gerald. Happy birthday, Gerald. And next, I got a birthday greeting to one of my family members back in the Philippines. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Judy May. Happy birthday, Judy May. I'm hoping that everybody that has their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and have great celebrations for your birthdays this year. So this morning, after less than five hours of sleep, waking up around 6.30, before the sun has even risen in Scarborough, I woke up from a nightmare similar to being in a first shooter video game where zombies are chasing you. Anyways, after looking out the window and seeing the sun glisten its red rays off the Toronto skyline buildings, as the pictures show, I was still in a very groggy mood. And to this time at 9.30 p.m. in the evening, 
I haven't slept since. So what did I do all day? I decided to be productive with my time and spend hours editing the live from last week video of episode 65. And after I was done video editing, I found this coupon at my condo for a discounted oil change at a local shop. A shop where I actually took the Mini 2 a couple of times in the past. So off I went to take my car to the local Ryan's Express Lube and got my baby's oil and filter change there. So yeah, a quick shout out to the friendly staff over there, Amir and Sash, who helped get my Mini back on the road and running smoothly. I then went to my local convenience store to scan my most recent Lotto Max ticket and found out I won another free play ticket for this week's Lotto Max. So I'm hoping that this ticket will help me win the $70 million Lotto Max jackpot this Friday. And I'm also hoping that you guys will send me all the luck that y'all all have out there. And by the way, do you guys remember this scene from last week's episode? Well, the wife and I looked over the brackets of the games that were played over the past week and saw after two rounds, I am leading on points. And I'm on my way to ending the wife's March Madness winning streak of five years in a row. But either way, I'll keep you guys posted because you never know, the wife might make a comeback in the next coming weeks. But anyways, before I wrap it up for the night, we have a couple of birthday greetings for you guys today. Starting with one of my old co-workers who I used to watch wrestling with and play tennis with in the past. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Nej. Happy birthday, Nej. And secondly, we have a birthday greeting to one of my SMIOA friends, who I remember hanging out with when I was in Chicago when I first met her and her family. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Erica. Happy birthday, Erica. So for all my friends and families that are having their birthdays today, hope you're doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had great celebrations for your birthdays this year. This morning, after passing out last night at around 10 or 11 p.m., I finally felt refreshed and caught up on my sleep that I've lost over the past couple of days. And feeling productive, I decided to spend most of the day editing some video for this week's Live From Last Week episode. I also saw that the wife was watching this new movie on Netflix called The Adam Project while live streaming watching the movie with our good friend G. And speaking of G, a couple of weeks ago we actually received this in the mail. A nice postcard of her travels, which I haven't gotten around to taking a video of it until today. But yeah, G, I hope you're doing well over there in Europe. And both of us just can't wait to receive more postcards from you in the future. After that, I decided to take a stroll with my new baby Rouge, who, as you guys know, was recently worked on by Cami Sue yesterday, and took her for a well-do, much-needed bath at the local car wash. But the thing that surprised me about the car washes when I arrived there was the fact that after inflation through the pandemic, the prices to use the coin car wash today has increased to four bucks a wash. But anyways, now I'm here at the local McCowan District Park to spend some time with my baby Rouge before I go in for my first of my four night shifts tonight. And flashing back to last week, less than 10 days ago, where over here, there is beautiful snow falling from the sky and the wife and I were skating on the skating trail here. Today, as you guys can see, it's mild out and there is not one snowflake in sight. Anyways, it's time to go off for my night shift now and I'm hoping that tonight's night shift won't be too bad and I'll just see you guys again tomorrow. So before we continue on with today, I just have a couple of significant things that I wanna go over with you guys from yesterday. I don't know if you guys notice it behind me, the wife and I did some laundry yesterday and turned over our winter bedding into this bright and more vibrant set for the spring. I've also got an idea of making a new segment called Put It On The List, where I feature some of the most delicious dishes that the wife has made in the past for future reference, just in case we are undecided what to have for dinner that night. So in the future, when we ask, what should we have for dinner? We'll have something to pick off to help us decide what to make, what to have, and what to eat, or even order for dinner. And last night's meal was no exception, where she made this delicious dish composed of baked salmon, pan-fried green beans, and pureed pumpkin squash. And boy oh boy, am I ever excited to try this delicious dish again? Packing it up and taking it with me to have for a late dinner at work tonight. 
And yeah, before I go in for my second of my four night shifts tonight, we just have a quick birthday greeting to one of my former co-workers. Somebody who I always see smiling all the time. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Megan Glover. Happy birthday, Megan Glover. To be honest, I miss working with you and all the Christmas gatherings that we used to have in the past. Hope you and your family are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and have a great celebration for your birthday this year. Good afternoon, guys. So after just waking up after a post-night shift nap, I got a text message from one of my friends, Mia, who said she needed somebody to help sub in for her indoor volleyball team today. So this afternoon at 3 p.m. in the middle of his four night shifts, guess who's randomly going to play some indoor volleyball today? You guys guessed it, this guy. What a great time playing volleyball in between my night shifts today. And a big special shout out to Mia, who convinced me to get up out of bed just to play volleyball today. But yeah, it's time to go home, quickly shower up, eat a little bit, get ready for work. But before we go in for my third of my four night shifts tonight, I have a birthday greeting for you guys. And it's a birthday greeting to my Y6CA bowling champion, Bree. Happy birthday, Bree. Hope you and your family are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthday this year. Woo! This morning, post night shift, we got beautiful snow. The big, poofy, romantic kind. You know, the kind that you get in the middle of winter. But anyways, post night shift, I'm off to church at a place that we've been to a couple weeks back. With it being a historic, I think, 13 or 14 degrees outside, we're off to mass. As you can tell in the background, you can hear the church bells at the beautiful church, St. Lawrence the Martyr. So I'll have to do a quick little prayer and I'll see you guys a little bit later. Now that we're back at home and after taking a post night chip nap, I just want to throw back to yesterday when I saw an ad on Facebook Marketplace. And as shown by the following pics, I just wanted to make sure that if I was going to buy these boots, I was going to get a pair and not just the left one. So, after I played volleyball, went home, showered up and ate, and just before work, this happened. It's time to do a random pre-night shift Facebook Marketplace purchase. So, uh, 24, 24.5. 24 to 24.5. Yeah. <laughs> Brand new used boots for the wife. Thanks again, Facebook Marketplace. Now it's time to hurry up and get to work. So yeah, let's see if these boots will fit Miss Cinderella today. That's good? Yeah, perfect. That's good. Let him ask. <laughs> yeah. But on to other events happening today. This afternoon at Toronto's BMO Field, the Canadians men's national soccer team is playing a World Cup qualifier against Jamaica. Oh! Oh, Richie Larea. Hey, oh. Oh. Hey. And this could be a historic moment for the fact that if Canada wins or draws their match today, they will qualify for the first time in many years for the 2022 World Cup in Qatar. So yeah, I'll just update you guys on what happens in this afternoon's match in tomorrow's segment. But on to tonight before I go in for my 4th shift in 4 nights and my 8th shift in 11 nights I got my Get Shift Done shirt on and I'm ready to celebrate because I got 
one more night. But before I go on for work tonight, we have several birthday greetings for you guys today. We got a birthday shout out to one of my SMIO8 titas who's spending time in Vegas. Happy birthday, Tita Elsie! And another birthday greeting to one of my beach volleyball friends. Hope to see you on the beach this summer. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Nicole. Happy birthday, Nicole! Next, a couple of birthday greetings to a couple of my elementary and high school friends. These birthday greetings goes to you, Michelle, and a birthday greeting to you, Jessica. Happy birthday, guys! As well, another birthday greeting to one of my high school friends who is also a standout at soccer. This birthday greeting goes out to you, T. Happy birthday, Christina. And last but not least, we got a birthday shout out to one of my former Ryerson classmates and my favorite Toronto City tour guide. This birthday greeting goes out to you, RJ. Happy birthday, RJ. I'm hoping that all my friends and family out there who are celebrating their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and have great celebrations for your birthdays this year. And yeah, it's time to go and watch the rest of the Canadian soccer match, go in for my last night shift tonight, and I'll just see you guys again tomorrow. First of all, I just want to talk about a couple of things that happened while on the road. So you guys remember this scene from a Live From Last Week episode a couple of weeks back? I realized that while we were driving, I looked up at the clock on the clock tower at Toronto's Old City Hall and noticed that the clock stood still and was not working. Well, we've got an update. While commuting to work last night, it looks like the clock at Old City Hall has been fixed. Now, on to this morning where I had my first ever encounter of post night shift traffic. Still being on the DVP an hour after my night shift ended, we saw that there was a traffic accident that delayed my commute home and definitely made me question my navigation choices this morning. And with two left lanes blocked up ahead, I was still in my car at 9 a.m. But after finally passing the scene of the accident and hoping that those involved in this collision were all right and okay, I was happy that I was finally on my way home. And on a trip that usually takes 36 minutes, give or take, I arrived at my destination an hour and a half later, almost two hours post night shift at around 9.25 a.m. But enough of those negative experiences, let's go on to some positive ones. Starting with a birthday greeting to one of my beach volleyball friends out there, Alex. Happy birthday, Alex. I'm hoping that at this time, you and your family are doing well, stay safe and healthy, and I can't wait till the summer to start so I can play beach volleyball with you again sometime soon. Keeping up with the positive vibes, I also wanted to go over something historic that happened at BMO Field yesterday. Junior Hoyland. And as you guys heard from commentator Gareth Wheeler, Canada's men's soccer team defeated Jamaica, earning a berth in the 2022 World Cup in Qatar for the first time since 1986, almost 36 years ago. So this is a very exciting time to be a Canadian soccer fan right now. And I just can't wait to see them again later this year in the World Cup to see them put it on a show and make Canada proud. Anyways guys, it's time to wrap up this week's very busy and eventful episode. So if you guys have enjoyed what you've been watching, feel free to follow Jaywalker POV on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. Be sure to like and share this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notifications bell to be notified when new videos from Jaywalker POV come out. And once again, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Stay safe and healthy out there, and we'll see you next time on Live From Last Week.